Hey guys! Do you want to see some animals that lived in the dinosaur era? Yes! Yes, don't be surprised. Turtles appeared on our planet Earth together with the dinosaurs 200 million years ago. But of course, these two beauties are still very young. But their ancestors once lived together with the dinosaurs. And they have their own houses, one for each. Do you mean their shells? No, Sammy, shells can't replace a house for the turtles. Then I know what's in this box! A turtle house! It's called a terrarium. Doesn't matter how it's called. Let's open it! It looks like the turtles want to unbox everything themselves. Let them do the unboxing. It's so much fun! Everyone loves unboxing! Ah, uh, Sammy, I'm afraid that even though the turtles are very clever animals, they can't unbox this. Then let me do the unboxing! Let's do it together, Sammy. You, me, and the turtles. Well, all right. Turtles, soon you're going to get a luxurious apartment. Guys, do any of you have a turtle pet? Write in the comments. Right, turtles. Sit here. You're going to watch the whole process. And we're starting. Let's take a look inside. Wow, there are so many interesting things in here. This is a filter. On suction cups. It's small, but it's so crucial for keeping the terrarium clean. There was this tube next to it. It's probably part of the filter to keep the water running. And here come blind bags. <laughs> well, like in the real unboxing. Interesting. It looks like a lamp. Right. It's a light for our turtles. <gasps> oh, Sam! While we were unboxing the terrarium, our turtles left! Let's go search for them! Oh, there you are. Hungry? I didn't know turtles eat strawberries. What are they supposed to eat? Uh, pizza? <laughs> Sammy, you watch too many cartoons. Right. Sit here, you two. Don't miss anything. The next bag isn't that blind. I can see something like a flower pot. <gasps> That's right! Only it has lots of holes. And inside it has this soft green pad. And the last item in our box is a turtle bank. A magnetic floating island. Because turtles need something to climb on. Oh, cool! These must be the magnets to hold our island. Huh. And… Here is the island itself! Awesome! It has such a nice texture. The turtles will have lots of fun. <gasps> Turtle, where are you? Looks like one of them is very curious. Huh. Sue! Sue! The turtle decided to sunbathe! Aww. So cute! But Turtle, my dear, you'll have your own lamp in the house. Let's continue. This isn't just a container for keeping stuff. It's the house for the turtles itself. Wait a minute. There should be a lid. Huh. Here it is! But why didn't we get it out? It doesn't look much for now. But that's because we didn't peel off the protective layer. Hmm. It's so cool. Give a thumbs up if you also like removing the protective layer from new items. <laughs> ah. Much better. Let's try it on. Perfect. That's where the filter should go. The next step is to connect the filter and the water tube. Okay. Let's place it into the corner. <gasps> where are the turtles? And Sam. Sam, what are you doing here? Um. Sammy? We're holding a staring contest and the turtles whine! <laughs> they did well! Come, let's continue making our terrarium. To make our turtles comfortable, we'll make a nice bottom for them. We'll use coral pieces and seashells for that. You can use any other type of terrarium ground. I'll pour it out just like this to cover the whole bottom. And even it out a bit. Now it's time to pour some water in. That's a very important step. Turtles need water. And… a little more… This should be enough. 
The bottom pieces should be completely covered with water. And here comes our floating island so our turtles can climb out of the water and sunbathe. Let's secure it with this magnet. We'll use another magnet to sink the island a bit. Susie! One of the turtles is missing again! <gasps> again? Oh, <laughs> it's making new friends. The turtle and Gary look so nice together. They have lots in common. Speed, for example. Gary, you already have a house and the turtle still has to move in. Come with me. Let's add some greenery into the water. I'll place it here carefully. There. And the second bush will live right here. Now it's time for the lid. Let's insert the wire and the tube into the opening. Then we cover the box with the lid and insert the wire into this notch. This opening here is for the flower pot. It will also act as an additional water filter. We'll plant this little bush here. The tube will water the plant. And let's turn the water on! There. Dig it deeper. Done! What do you think this opening is for? The lamp! Turtles need some light. What a wonderful terrarium! So fast and easy. Aw, uh, it's too quiet. Yes! The turtles are missing again! Oh, what now? Hey! Hey, went to meet the hamsters! <laughs> That's all right. However, you'll have time to chat with everyone. And the house is ready! Yay! Here, little turtles, is your new home. Make yourselves comfortable, turtles. Your shells are comfy, but a cozy house is much better. Speaking of shells… They are actually part of their skeleton. It consists of 50 bones. So the turtle can't get out, even if they wanted to. They don't have to! Their shells are so pretty! Oh look! They're eating something again! So what do turtles eat if not pizza? They can eat both plants and animals. Seaweed and squid, for example. Well, the most important thing is that they don't eat slime. <laughs> <laughs> Turtles are so incredible that they have their own holiday. The 23rd of May, World Turtle Day. Oh, I'll celebrate this day with you, turtles. I promise. Oh, also, some turtles can climb trees. But not our turtles. Aw, pity. I'd bring them a tree. So go on, turtles. Get you to your new home. I'll come visit you. Guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel! We've got so many more interesting ideas with our animals, too! Hit that bell button not to miss our new videos and share this video with your friends! Hey, guys! If you want to get to know me a little bit better, comment below and we'll tell you even more funny stories of my life. And uh, while you're doing that, we'll show you another cool thing. Oh, I had such a good sleep. Even Sam is still asleep. Oh! What's that? Interesting. It looks like a piece of wool. Oh! Who's this little guy here? Who sneaked into our house? It's a little spider! You are so cute! Stay with us, little one. Sammy, wake up! We've got a new pet! I'll be right there, Sue! What's up? Look, Sammy, we have a new friend! Wow, Susie, is it a spider? It looks scary! Sammy, you can't judge someone by their looks. First, you have to find out what kind of personality you're dealing with before you can draw any conclusions. You're right, Susan, I guess, but where is he gonna live? 
Right, we need to buy a terrarium for him. But for now, we should arrange something here to make sure our little spider doesn't get lost. Where was it? Where? Oh, right! Here's what we need. Also, I thought I had some left in here. Yes, right, this will do. We'll put this here. Our little spider will sit right here for a little bit. Hey, little one. Now we aren't going in the tub. That's where we should stay. Okay, let's pour some soil into a container. Here we go. Careful, little spider. Come over here. Come on over, little one. Yeah, good job. Good. See, this will be your shelter for the time being, okay? There, Sammy. Our little spider will be staying here. Guys, most importantly, don't forget that you must have holes in your container so that the spider can breathe. Phew, I've only seen those in the encyclopedia before. How did he get here? I think he crawled in from outside. It's weird that so many people are afraid of spiders. I mean, they're totally harmless. Guys, give a thumbs up if you too aren't afraid of little spiders. Phew, but our little spider shouldn't live in such conditions, right? Yeah, sure, Sammy. You stay with him and I'll go order a terrarium, okay? Well, we'll sit here. <laughs> Good little spider. Holy cannoli, guys! Something's happening in there! Sue! What? What's the panic about? There! There! The spider! Is he an alien? No, Sammy. It's just that our spider is shedding. That's all. I've never seen this process before like that. I mean, live. It's so cool! Why is he doing it? He doesn't like his old skin? Sammy, our little spider grows this way. It's not even his skin. It's something like a skeleton. Our spider's growing and changing. Such a wonderful creature. Be sure not to get in his way now. Let him get used to his new body in peace. He doesn't really need anything special right now to help him with it. And when he does get used to it, his new home will be here already. Our terrarium has arrived. It's time to put it together. Our little spider is feeling very good. And he's all ready for the big move. Guys, suggest a name for our little spider. Come on, comment away. This kind of spider is called a bird-eating spider. These spiders can be kept at home, so we kept it. You can't let the spider walk around the apartment because you might hurt him. Also, he should have his safe zone for having food and water. That's why we'll need a terrarium. Okay, guys, let's get to business. Let's see what's inside. I've never assembled terrariums for spiders before. I wonder if it's like an ant farm in any way. Nah, Sue, these are two totally different things. You think so? Okay, we'll see. Wow, it's so stylish and so reliable. Look, Sue, I think it's spoiled. There are holes in it. No, oh, Sammy, these holes are made on purpose to let air through. Oh, right. Why do I keep forgetting that, Sue? No problem, Sammy. The experts took care of it. Also, there are special securing fixtures here. Let's secure the first two walls together like this. Ah, uh, Sue, what do you think? Will the spider have enough space in there to weave his web? Uh, I read somewhere that a spider can weave a web as long as the Earth's equator. Well, he won't need that much web in our terrarium. We just have to make sure it has enough space. Look, I'm securing the walls. Now there's more than enough space in here to weave a web. Okay, then I don't have to worry. But a spider must need something other than space, right? Sure, Sammy. Let's add all kinds of things in here. As with any other terrarium, spiders should have a soft flooring in there so that he doesn't hurt himself if he falls. Coconut substrate is a perfect kind of flooring for a terrarium. Now see what's going to happen. Just watch it soak up all the water. It's like magic. Let's add some more. It's bulging, see? Now I need to knead it like dough. Isn't it fun? And ready! We're putting it on the bottom of our spider home. Hey guys, I'd like to remind you that we asked you to help us come up with a name for our spider. Comment under this video. Tell us what name you think suits him best. Here we go! Susie, we need to make a place for him to sleep on! Yes, Sammy, look! I bought a special snag for this. Why buy it? We could have gotten one from the street, Sue. No, come on, what are you saying? It's better not to get anything from our streets for our exotic pets. Because they can get sick. It's better to use special things that are only intended for them. This looks more like a home now. We only need to arrange a kitchen and a place for him to play. Well, the kitchen, we need a container for water and food. We'll put it across from the bedroom. Like this. 
and now a place to play. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, I forgot to warn you that our guest likes exotic toys. Yeah, you can't be more exotic than that. Where did you get this mini pirate? The same place I got the snack, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> we have all the special things for our spider. It's some sort of a VIP guest we have in here. Right, Sammy. Soon we'll show this home to its owner-to-be. Our little spider needs water and food. Great, all set now. Well, hello there. Ready? Come over here, you little buddy. There you go. Take your time. Soft, isn't it? Off you go. Take a look around. Look, he's going for the shelter right away. I think he likes the snag. Make yourself comfortable, spider. That's it, little friend. You have a new home now. You forgot something here, Sue. Spiders love to be warm. We have to make sure the temperature is comfortable for him. Wow, right, Sam? Where did you get this? We'll put it here. Well, you're not the only thrifty person. <laughs> no, we are definitely done. Wow, little spider. How are you liking it? I hope he'll like it and won't escape from his home. Or else we can step on him and break his leg. Sammy, spiders have no bones. No bones? But his legs look so firm. Well, spiders have a firm shell. Actually, it's still possible to hurt his legs, like if you step on him accidentally. We won't step on his legs and hurt him ever. That's why we made the terrarium, right? Yes, Sammy, among other things. It looks like he's happy. I think so too. I can't wait for our subscribers to come up with a name for our spider. Guys, I hoped you liked this video. Give a thumbs up if you want a spider too, or some other unusual pet. <laughs> Guys, if you want to know what happened after that video, leave a comment below. And while you're doing that, we'll get to our next interesting craft. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! What's the matter, Sammy? Susie, the hamsters escaped again! No, they didn't. I let them out. Aren't you afraid they'll escape? No, let them be. And meanwhile, we'll make this house for them. Wow, awesome! What's that? <laughs> it's a detailed assembling guide. Yay! I'm so happy we ordered a house for our hamsters. Now they'll have a place to play in! Uh... What do we start with? Right, let's see. There are so many things in here. But we'll start with a cage and the vertical piece. The cage is here! Uh, where's the vertical piece? Um, I think it's in the box, Sammy. Right. Oh, Sam, bring me a cutter, please. A uh, moment. Here! That's some speed, Sam. I'll call you Rocket. Mr. Rocket for ya! <laughs> let's go! And here it is. This looks more like a spaceship. Oh, just imagine, Sue. Our hamsters will be the first hamsters in space. Actually, hamsters have already been in space. Let's see what comes next. Right, we'll attach our plastic base to the cage with plastic pegs and nuts. They're in this little bag. Let's open it with some scissors. Da -da -da. There's one more baggie inside. We'll set this aside and cutting it. There! <gasps> They're spilling out! Catch! Got him! Oh, you're so funny. Thanks, Sammy. <laughs> we won't need these parts now. We'll work with these. Let's set it here. And we'll insert this piece into this opening. And… Oh, oh it's not as easy, it turns out. Let me try. All right, Sam. How done! You're my hero! <laughs> Now let's secure it from the other side. Oh, that went in much easier. We'll do the same to the other side. Done. According to the instructions, we'll need this now. I've opened the baggie. Oh, let's see. Huh, what am I supposed to do with it? Here, do. Let's take a look. Aha, we need to assemble this thing. I see. So, we'll need these too. Yes! 
According to the instruction, we need to set this here and connect these two parts. Let's add another ring like this. And insert the next part into this ring like this. One more ring goes here. Let's add this part too. And this is a piece we've got now. Let's set it into place. As a result, we get this structure. Now we'll connect the top part to the base. Carefully. Perfect. Wow, Sue, so this thing is awesome! <laughs> yep. What's it for? For the hamsters to run along. Cool! So, there are more parts left! Showing off again. So what, guys? You do like my costume, right? Give a thumbs up if you do! I'll do that without the instructions. Look! Sue, so, I even know where it goes! I know that too! Yes, yes. Susie, if you wanna go for a ride! I'd love to, but it's for the hamsters. Even with these pieces, but I won't give them to you. Meet me. Sam, bring them back, please. Oh, fine. Here. Thanks. Huh. Right, where do these go? Let's see. We attach this piece to the back wall. And this one. Got it. Let's attach this piece here. And our wheel is attached to it. And the finishing piece. Susie, can we let our hamster in? No, Sam, not yet. We have lots to do. But first, let's attach this little house. I need to aim well to insert it into the opening. Great! Susie, how are they going to get up there? It's too high for them. <laughs> well, to make sure our hamsters can move freely in here, we'll attach these little shelves. And these cute ladders will help them move between the shelves. Let's attach them now. Very easy! Wow! I like this design! I can't wait to invite our hamsters in! Right, we're done with this step, so now moving on to here. We just need to secure our glass with these pieces. Just like this. Great! Here. Done! Time to close our structure to keep the hamsters inside. Right. Carefully. Of course, it's not real glass, just transparent plastic, so we can see our hamsters well. Done! Uh, Susie! Our hamsters can escape through here! They won't, Sammy, because we'll set this in place. And there. We've got this baggie left. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> I think. Yes! Oh, it's a drinking bottle! Let's remove the label and screw the lid on. And what's this? Sammy, we'll need that in the end. Aha! Uh -huh. And meanwhile, we'll secure the bottle on our cage. Just like this. <laughs> Susie, shall we let them in? Yes! Go fetch the hamsters and I'll add the finishing touches. Okay. I poured the water and prepared the food. And of course, covered the floor with special filling. We also have this wooden labyrinth. <laughs> Let's place it in here. And the last pieces. To make sure it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Sam, it's ready! Ew, I can't find the hamsters! They're here! Oh, let them in! Sure. I hope you like it in there, girls. Make yourself comfortable. I think Hammy, Snowy, and Ashy really like their new house. Oh, I'm so happy! Guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up! And don't forget to subscribe to the channel! Bye-bye! <laughs> See ya soon!